Hey guys, almost addicted here and today I'm going to show you how to build this large modern house. It's kind of like more of a villa really. Um, I made this so you can build it on a mountain. So um, what I need to tell you is at the back it's not done. So I've kind of done it around here like it was going to be on a mountain. So you imagine this is built into a mountain area. Obviously I've done the tops and stuff. But I've done it blocked out like this because it's obviously intended to go and fit into a mountain so I've done everything else it's just obviously this block work would be slotted into the side of a mountain uh, but I've put a lot of detail into this I spent a long long time doing it and um, yeah hopefully you enjoy the video I'll show you around a little bit at the front here you can walk around and uh, yeah we've got some nice garden areas here we've got a place for smelting and things like that um, we've got this walkway here that takes you around onto the pool. We've got some nice plant areas down here, some nice carpet. It's just a really, really nice house. We've got this going down here, so we've got a staircase that leads you up here. It takes you onto the balcony. Obviously, I haven't done the interior. There's a lot of work to do uh, for the interior. And then this takes you around here. And then if you wanted to get up to, onto the top, top levels, there's another staircase that leads you onto here that'll take you into like this grand area and then this will lead you into two buildings here which need to be done so everywhere I have put kind of uh, these redstone you'd put glass I kind of did it for the thumbnail and stuff so the thumbnail looks a bit better but as you can see we've got a nice little garden area here some big big places down here so we can yeah so I just think it's a really really cool build and uh, yeah, it's probably one of the best modern houses I've seen in a long, long time. I haven't done one in quite a while. I like how it's quite modern here, but really simplistic at the side. Got nice little balcony areas. It's just lovely. And um, some chimneys, some side corners here. It is just full on awesome. Uh, so yeah, this leads you around here and then you've got plenty of space for building. You could probably take some holes out so it leads into this building at the bottom here. Let it take you around into this bit. So yeah, there is a lot of space that you can use, but um, yeah, I would love to see what you guys do for the interior and stuff. Uh, but yeah, just really nice. It kind of looks like an Italian or Spanish villa maybe. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's build this house. So bear in mind, this would be on a cliff edge. I've shown you the dimensions that you would need to do it. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's build this awesome house. Slapping a like on the video really does help me out. Obviously, I haven't been on YouTube for quite a while. So uh, yeah, I wanted to come back and do loads and loads of uh, new big builds and probably just go a bit more all out than I used to and hopefully it pays off in the end so yeah without further ado let's build this house slap a huge like on the video it really does help me out and leave in a comment and all that other stuff so yeah let's do this right so let's attempt this huge large modern house um i'm a bit scared because i have no idea what it's going to look like so you guys know because of the intro but yeah um so i'm going to start off with um just a stone floor uh, 70 by 40 just a rectangle there so 40 there 70 there and then I've kind of put these out so um, let's see how high it is I've got a bit of a cold so I apologize now the floor wise it's going to be four height let's go to the right hand side I'm going to sneeze oh my god right so we're going to count one two three on the fourth one we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine and then 21. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 21. 21 there. And we're going to go up for height as well. So I'm going to kind of keep it like this. There might be other areas where we're going to bring it off from. But I kind of wanted to do this this way. Uh, so I could have done it on um, like a big... Um, I think this would work on a mountain but I didn't want to work it on a mountain because not everybody would have the seed so I thought if I do it on a flat world you can decide to do it on a mountain um, if you'd like so for this circle now at the front at the front to the right hand side 
we are going to grab that so that's up four high by the way and this we're going to count one two three four five so as you can see we're starting from the corner on the second block so five there one two three one two one two diagonal one two three and then we're going diagonal one two diagonal one two one two three one two three four five and then in this time one two three one two one two one 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 two one two one two three one two three four five and that should complete it like that and i'm thinking maybe we could do a swimming pool circular swimming pool here it might be quite cool we can have some stairways going up from the front uh, but yeah it's going to be a large build so uh, it might take you a couple of days to do this one but i'm trying to do kind of small builds large builds all in one kind of thing all right we're going to have some stairs coming up here i haven't decided what the stairs should be let's see hmm um stair right so we can only do the stairs in the quartz maybe so i'm going to count one two three four five six and then bring it out and then it should go down and should meet there like that that'll be our stairway going up into the place we're going to do a lot more maybe some palm trees and it's, it's going to be extravagant hopefully and so here at the side we're going to count these blocks up here so one two three four bring it up to the same height like that now across here it's going to be counting this one one two, uh, no sorry one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we're going to do that from there. So counting from here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we're going to fill that all in four high. Now from here, we're counting one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we should have 23 going along there. And that will be the same height, 4 height, as we have done before. And then across here, it's going to be 27. So counting this, 1, 27. Going across like this. And then it should go to the back one two three four five six seven eight and nine counting that one so maybe you could do an outbuilding here of some form maybe 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 we'll have a look and um, so so far so good i'm thinking shall i fill this in yes yeah, so i'm going to fill in the whole tops of this and uh, then we can work from there so I'm just gonna do a little bit of world edit like this and uh, obviously you guys can pause it and but obviously for the sake of the tutorial I don't want it super super long so little unnecessary bits like this where um yeah I, I just might as well speed it up it just makes it a heck of a lot quicker saves me just building it and editing it out uh, so for here Let's start on our first build. In fact, we could do fill that in over there later. We'll start on here. So diagonal one. These are placement blocks, so we're going to get rid of them. One, two, three. Maybe do four on the four form. So yeah, four like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's bring it all the way. Ten. 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so there's kind of like a three walkway like that and then one sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and then we should have that three walkway there my goodness I'm, I've, I've proper got a cold here I'm struggling <laughs> so <laughs> it gets a bit snotty up in this house I uh, do apologize and uh, let's get to there right so we've got our first big big outhouse building let's do the other one over here so we'll, we'll save that for later now over here fill this in 
might as well get that filled in with this stone should we have a three walkway here one two three on the fourth one same for here one two three on the fourth one bring this to join this now let's see so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen point fifteen yeah i'm going to do fifteen back so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen point fifteen so keep this an actual square so fifteen by fifteen square and uh yeah just see what it looks like I'm gonna do it too high but we, we might be removing blocks for obviously windows and stuff but I just kind of want the the base template first I'll try not to do it too much because I don't know where all the doors and windows are gonna do are gonna go at all like I have no idea um, so for here this is what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do this so I'm wanting a swimming pool of some form and um, so let's try going like this so one two on the third one and then we'll do it over here as well so one two on the third one and bring it out so that's one two three four yeah do it by four two three four then one two three Let's do it for this one as well one two three diagonal one two same for this one one two then one two for this one one two then we do diagonal one two what would that one? diagonal two and just see what this would look like if I put it to the side first yes yeah, so a diagonal one two like that one two and then where we've got this one we're gonna do two like that so it should be like that and then just the one and then the two hanging in like that and then we do another one two diagonal one two and then one two three maybe one two three or maybe two even one two three like that yeah yeah I'm happy with that yeah so now we can fill in I might what I might do actually is get some bush and just run it around this bit here And we've kind of got like um, a half circle swimming pool going on and then we can fill the rest in with stone so we get our stone and fill it in and this could be our walkway around the swimming pool and um, we kind of want to do a little bit extra to the swimming pool I don't want it to just be kind of like that so I think you can have it as deep as you want but for the ease of the tutorial if I make it one deep and um, just be a little bit easier for when I'm putting the water in and um, but I think I don't think I'm gonna do the interior for this unless um, it gets like enough views because obviously I'm spending a lot of time that I could be spending on other videos and if um, people are not clicking on it it's because um, yeah it's not doing well right so or it's not good <laughs> either either right so like that I am going to yeah we could have an underground bit you could do something like that but that's going to be our swimming pool area and I kind of feel like what I want to do here is going one two three four five and then one two three four five five by five there we could have some palm trees on this one so like one two three four five and then one two three four five 
like this. We could have it maybe raised up in this area. So let's do this. Let's do it one more high. Like this. And then hmm kind of feel like we should from here one two three and bring it across so up to this point there leave it like that we could have a staircase going down from here maybe leaving a two gap here like that and then um, for this bit here, um, let's fill it in with some of the grass here, like this. Just so there's like, it's a bit more interesting, it's not just all flat ground. Um, obviously because I haven't got the mountain there, I'm going to have to make it just a little bit more um, easy on the eye, I guess. Let's do it like that. And I'll definitely figure out some palm tree ideas that we could put in for this here. So we'll fill that one in there and this one in here. And just some massive palm trees coming out from there might look really cool. So I'll definitely do that. Right. So for these buildings, I'm going to just box them off basically. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go across like this nine by nine blocks because this is going to be the first level there's going to be a few levels maybe uh, so it's nice and big so nine high let's box that one off and then we'll do the other one over there and then we can figure out how we can get everything joining up that's bothering me too <laughs> I will do it All right hopefully the computer will last because uh, yeah so I'm feeling a little bit uh, lagging but you know let's pray two three four five six seven eight nine nine for this one as well and then we can figure out the doors and windows once we've got at least the the base foundation down and we can go from there really Come on, come on, come on, we got this, we got this brothers and sisters, and brothers, sisters, whatever you call yourself, um, right, so from that, big building out there, big building out there, now maybe have um, a walkway, somehow, a kind of, um, let's have a three thing coming down from here, so count of one, two, three, and then we can start, that's the start of our new one. So we'll bring it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four like that. And I'm gonna bring this all the way over here until it touches the other side. So we don't need to count, just keep placing blocks until you hit the other side. Where we hit here. Just into there. Like that. And then we can bring this up. Bring it to there. Like that. And then uh, we'll block this off. So bring this all the way. It's going to be quite flat at the back. Maybe. Because obviously I was doing it with the idea of it being... Um, into a mountain so you wouldn't really have much detail at the back but I'll still put the detail at the back just in case people are not uh, so we can have a huge balcony at the back or something like that I think that might work just as well bring this up here where this joins on and across so we don't need to count all these because they're just all interlock and then same here so now I'm going to bring this out um, seeing how wide we should have it I think we should because we've got the free walkway here we'll start it here about there so where we've got this run this line up to here 
place a block block that's in line with that and then um, yeah I'm going to bring it up and across like this and that could be our first kind of thing there so I'm going to bring this up so it kind of joins with the other side here so I'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight is that in line seven let's do that and if it doesn't join on it doesn't join on let's do nine actually nine yeah we'll do nine because I kind of think it'll look more interesting if it doesn't completely fix over there right so bring this all the way across until it stops and you'll know if you've gone right because it will look like that and you'll have two gaps there and on the third one it's there bring this up and then join it on here bring it all the way back and it should join in all the way back come on there we go let's have a little look back see what it looks like right got a foundation down there I'll just put this across here for now even though it might change up but you know right so hmm maybe we could have a balcony coming out at that point there okay right so I'm gonna have this going across here now so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two bring that down and we can bring this across here like that and then just have a little balcony out here so maybe one two and bring this across like that and then we can have some stairs coming down from this point maybe and then down so I'm going to use the, these stairs again quartz let's bring them down from here so one two three yeah let's do three bring it like this one two three put them under one two three might bring it to this point and then we can bring it out one two three and then it should stop at this point here and then we can use this for our next bit which would be we can have stairs coming down from this point so bring this up to this here bring it to that point there so we've got a three space there and then have another spree three space three space bring it up bring it across like that so a three by or five by five square bring that there and then have the stairs going down from this point here so maybe maybe take that out let's see how it would be if this was here and this joined on to here maybe I kind of want the stairs showing though but at the same time um, let's try let's see if they'd be showing yeah let's just do it let's do it from here like that and we can bring these stairs down one two three one two three and then one two three you can put stairs underneath behind here like that very nice and maybe what we could do here in fact take away those stairs and then we could have like a little walkway here so round to that point and then maybe so from here three four five six seven eight nine what we could do is fill it in somehow 
maybe fill it in with the grass here. Doesn't matter so much about this, this is kind of the garden point, so if you change it up, yours is a little bit different. Meh, it's alright, don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, something like that would be nice. Let's get some cobbled deep slate for these little bits here. And we could so have some stairs going down at this point. So maybe three here coming down. You can have three here coming down. You could have some um, across here. Another maybe three here. And then we can have another. Let's bring four here. So it's next to that. And then that one here as well something like that and then another one here and then another one here extend this to that so it's less yeah that should be alright now uh, glass wise um, might use some of the tainted glass tinted or whatever um, let's see let's use some grey stained glass or some black use some grey um, we could actually fill this bit here. Let's get rid of that one. Fill it up to about the same size as the stairs. Bring this over and to that point there. Okay. And then get some of this glass here to block that off have some glass across here um, we don't that stairway so we don't need to do it there some glass coming across here and here there we go what you can do with these you can have white stairs here as well I think that looks just as good in fact I, I prefer it I think like that yeah that's cool okay so we've got these stairs coming down here do we have something like that might be a bit more interesting something like that could have that as glass and then we could fill this in with glass as well let's fill that in there and then I kind of feel like I should put some of the bush just hanging over just for just like that yeah I like that that's nice put some bush underneath here as well underneath these little parts Bring that down. You can have stairs there if you want. For that little bit. Okay, very nice. And um, let's work on more foundation. Let's see. So that's an overhang there. We can work on that. Um, bring this over here. Like that. And then where this one is like that as well and let's put some glass flooring in so what did I use glass wise I used the uh, grey grey stained glass could put them as like little square flooring so we can see through there I think that, that might be quite interesting like that we could do every yeah so three gaps three gaps until we can't do three anymore and then we might as well three gaps and like that and then just yeah fill in these we've got an interesting skylight slash um, walkway so when you're walking across yeah you can look down there and then from below it's quite interesting also um, probably what I would do here because you'd have maybe a support beam coming from here to here so level with these kind of levels 
um, like that. We could maybe put one here as well and here. Like that. Kind of like how the stairs go down there, so I'm not going to cover that bit. But yeah. Okay. That's nice. And um, can we get any more balcony areas that are kind of. Let's have one from here. So this would be supporting that bit there. Like that. And uh, yeah, so this would be. Let's bring this up and have this as one of our main buildings coming through. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do nine. Do nine like this. Then we can plan out some kind of like window design that would work. Right. Box this off. So the start of this corner. Like that. And then bring this across here. And then we can see what this building would be like. I'm wondering if I should do it for height. Um, let's do this actually so I could go around there and let's bring it up one where one two three four five six seven bring up seven like this right and then I'm going to put roof on, see what the roof looks like and see if um, blend everything in with it. This is going to be our main kind of centre piece. We might have another one at the other side that looks kind of the same and then have smaller areas and balconies for the rest. So I'm going to use the cobblestone deep slate for the roof design and we'll see what it looks like, see if it looks any good. And then um, we'll go from there. But hopefully it should. Um, I've got some kind of shades that kind of seem like they would go together well. So I'm going to go with that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep following it around. So um, yeah, I might speed up this bit. So just basically following it all the way around. Just yeah. Yep, so I'm at the top. Boom, there we go. It's a nice big roof there. Looking fancy. Now, uh, for the top level, that could be, let's see, for this level here. Hmm. I kind of want it a bit lower, so that's kind of like a building that's coming out of it. So, let's, uh, I'm going to build up this one actually that's probably best so we did nine there nine here one two three four five six seven eight nine let's block this one off so these are kind of like the two towering buildings that are coming out of it and then we'll have kind of a slightly lower level coming out of everything else and that should work good hopefully or what we could do no i kind of don't want to take away blocks as people get angry so i'm just going to do it like this we'll go with the flow of it and see if it works and if it doesn't work it doesn't work that's like this and uh the next level i think it was seven maybe and then yeah i'm going to bring it down to here as well one two three four five six seven this off and then we can work out some designs that will work for windows and kind of garden areas that will make it all come together 
but that's the thing just getting your, your base template first and then working on it from there this is how I'd usually do I block it out how I would want it and then um, <clears throat> I can kind of go from there but so far so good so yeah I'm gonna speed it up for this bit just basically doing the roof all the way around like we have there until we reach the very top so yeah I'll come back once that's done Okay, now on top, you should have uh, enough for one slab like that. So let's see how tall that is. Very big, very, very big. Right, so I think because um, I use stairs for these ones, for the rest of them, might as well just use um, the slabs. Now what I'm gonna do here, so we have this bit here, I think we should have like, a maybe bring this out by one, two, three and then let's do three four five maybe so that's one two three four five bring these back maybe up to this point actually just bring them up like this and then bring it out kind of like this perfect and uh, let's do another one could have um, this here come into here like that and we could have stairs going up maybe at this point to like this and let's do another one here so it's one two three four five bring it up and across like we have with the other one and yeah we brought them down as well so bring them down can actually yeah I don't need to do it across that bit so we can actually use it and we can do some stairs coming from at this point here How far we should do them up? Maybe we should um, put some stairs underneath here. So that's free. Put stairs up underneath this side as well. Just until we reach that, maybe that might be a good point. Kind of feel like we should go past it though. Stairs underneath. Then more stairs on top. Stairs underneath. Oh, that's not good. Don't want to be doing that. And then we should be at this point here. Kind of want to go past it. I think that'd be a good idea. Let's go underneath here. Nah, maybe we could fill those in. Or maybe not. I'll leave it for now and then I can see what to do from there. Um, from here, um, let's see what we could do is have this bricking through here. You could have it as like a chimney of some form or something. Like that. Might as well fill all this in. And um, yeah. 
one more. Like that. Okay. And then let's try our first window design. Not that. Get some of the... We could use the deep slate slab, but I feel like um, deep slate um, tiles might be a little bit better because they're a bit darker, aren't they? All the deep slate things. Let's see. Those are cool. Those are cool. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's use the deep slate tiled slab. Let's bring this down. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Deep slate tiles. Bring this down. I don't know if it'd be worth going down even more like that. Yeah, kind of works works a little bit better with the low one like that, I think. Like that, uh, very nice. That could be there. That works good. Okay, so let's have a balcony. So that'll be the balcony there, and then let's bring this up here. Let's bring this up to this point, and then we could have count one, two, three there. So this is kind of going through here. Then we can start our top level from there, which will work well. Then bring this all the way across. We can have that as our first pillar. Bring this all the way across and have this joining onto here. Would probably be a good point. This going down here. We can bring it as a two going through there. We'll do it the same height, so we might as well bring this up one higher, which would work like that. That could be our next level balcony there. And um, do we join it there, or maybe we could bring this across and then let's try kind of want to stop before these so we're going to do it at this point because I don't want to interrupt those roofs so like that at that point so where does it stop it stops at the the second one so we'll go on the second one here can bring this across as a pillar and then we can join this across like that and then of course we can put this across here and this across here because this is going to be kind of a top balcony up here like that very nice and then we could have another balcony area so we'll bring this to here and then let's try so we've got two here I think that might work like that so how many gaps was that one two three four one two three four and then it's one two three four and place one one two three four and then let's do five for this one so it interlocks into this where this is like that and we can bring this up joining across at this point like that so we have this kind of like Hmm, that's an overhang. Um, yeah, I might do this going all the way across here. Just where it goes into this point. That could be our overhang area. And uh, might fill in this so we can have a doorway there. And it looks okay like that. And we can have this going through. And then another one going up at this point. And this going through to the other side. And then having this bring up. 
and then we're into these bits here. So I'm going to bring this point up here like that and then we could have this interlocking with this but would put another beam going here so it makes more sense and then have it come down here and just join into there like that and then when we put this one in it locks it all in and then we can just square it off here like that perfect and uh, yeah for the balcony out here let's do this level here where we're on there and bring this all the way across to I kind of wanted to just go to this point and we can make it fatter. And then this one bring out to join onto here. This is where we get the like the fatter end. Like that. I can bring this across. And it should lock into there. Perfect. And then we can double this one up so it matches the other side. Then that one. Let's fly to the front now. Okay. Very busy build. Very, very, very busy build. Um, I kind of feel like we could have a balcony coming off there, maybe. Um, yeah, let's do that. Balcony. In fact, if it's going to be a two balcony, we might as well go from here. Go from this point, so I'll bring this to here, square it off there, and we can have this balcony going through. And it should take us to here. We could block it off um, and stop it before we go to that point. So once we get to this point, we can count one, two, three gone have that there and we can bring it down as our support beam and behind it as well like that and do it around the front here so bring it round and then exactly the same so right on the corner where it joins on and then we can bring this point and just square it off like we have with the other pillar it down so that's supporting that there might have another one there just for that one just to make it a little bit different and then we can bring this going around we can stop it at this point and bring it down there like that and then we've kind of got like a little outside balcony there at that point and then maybe we could hmm, maybe we could have that as a roof actually instead of like a balcony I wonder if that would work let's try that so what we'd have to do for this then bring that to there because otherwise it'll interfere with the roof um, and let's get should we just get normal tiled roof let's see if this would work get this round here and it should work at the back as well if I've done it right um, let's get this wind it round and it should lock into the back here right let's do another one coming down to here that work a bit better right starting there and then the next one would be here And we just basically do it until it touches that building and um, it should work out all right should be enough of a, of a slope to make it interesting and it's not interrupting anything else so next layer le layer <laughs> level whatever you want to call it all right that's it there let's get it 
down to here and plus underneath this roof because we've got those beams and stuff we can probably have some interesting light sources underneath the, the roof of it get that to there and it should boom like that and then the next layer or level even go to here and it should just be slotting into the building now perfect perfection I said uh, come on come on we got this there we go there we go there we go man and then boom and then what we can do is we just put this behind it like this makes it a bit better we can work on the windows from there and yeah, we just do it to that level I guess we could just fill it all in fill that in there and you can fill the insides in here or if you can probably put some glowstone behind there or something I'm just going to fill it all in yep there and then I'm going to take a look back see if it looks um, alright bring that back to there like I have might as well do another layer do it for this one as well behind it fill that in might as well take those out so it doesn't have the those bits up to that level yeah okay yeah I like it it's interesting and um, for this top bit here I kind of feel like um, I could have a roof coming down from here but just overhanging Hmm, just like that. And, um, yeah, let's put it there. Oh, there, even. Probably better. Yeah. Just to that point, maybe. Nah. Nah, I'm not digging that. That's all right. Doesn't always work, right? So for this one here, I'm gonna practice our first windows. So up there, up here, like that. So maybe that height would be good. I'm gonna grab the um, deep slate tiles, maybe like that like that like th that like that okay maybe we could bring this down a bit more yep so bring this down a bit more and bring these in one more Let's try again um, wait in fact Three, two gaps there, two gaps there, two gaps there, two gaps there. Yep, nice. There, 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 there. Oh no, sorry, there, at the top even. Stair there, stair there, stair, facing like that, just so it makes a little square. Okay, and then like this, and then we put a tile in these. And we can grab some dirt blocks. I did get some dirt. Um, might be worth doing this actually. Um, we put the dirt block here. We'll just we'll experiment. So we'll do one side and we'll do the other. So if we did it here and we wrapped it with 
these. So I don't build anything yet. I'm just going to see if it works really. Um, like that. And then use these flowered Azilla room, whatever. So we've got that or that. Or that with this. Mm, yeah, I kind of like. I'm going for this. Just more interesting from a, a plain build rather than having it just completely plain. There we go. Hmm. Deep slate under or no deep slate under? That is the biggest question on my mind at the moment. That's it. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Yeah. Might as well. Okay, so for this, what we could do is take out this here. And then just swing this round here. Wait. This here. Swing it around there. And then let's do it up to this point here it just goes through the middle there I wonder yeah I'm just going to do it plain for now this little bit and then um, at this point here hmm, let's count don't place these one two three four five six seven place that one like that we can bring this up here like that kind of feel like we should get some deep slate for these areas here fill it up there and then this kind of going round and then we can make the glass from the inside. Like that. And then from the inside, this is where we can put the glass. So that going around there. Yeah, and then we can put the glass in. So what did I use? The grey grey tinted whatever you like let's grab the grey fill all that in and then we can see what it looks like it should be all right though because um, it's just got a bit of um, that's adding a little bit of depth a bit of diff different depth let's have a look from the front yep could do the same for this one but at the same time I think we could probably get away with um, something different there like that or I think if we do it here add our dirt block bottom here and then this and then I um, wonder if it's worth doing see what it looks like yeah it's kind of alright but probably best doing it from every other like that feel like just bringing this out down by two and then just having might as well bring that there and bring that there and just have a square bring it out by another 
Dobra. Hopefully this would work. I'm getting slab going round. There we go. Could bring it down one more. I think that might work. So if we just bring it down one more, so hopefully it's not too much of a pain. Because I don't want it to go into that roof. I think it just be better with a little bit of a gap. So if we do it that way, it'll just should look a little bit better. Yep, much better. Right. So for this, I wonder if it's worth just putting these little bits just for that. And then having this going around. kind of want to make it a little bit more interesting than it is. Um, might be worth just having it as a full square like that. We could even have bring these down like it's supporting it and do it through the roof. Might make it look a bit interesting. bring them all the way through I guess even um, like this let's have a look yeah it's pretty cool and uh, I kind of want to do a balcony for this as well so let's do from here to here even then we can use some of the glass. Some bits that you probably can't get into, but maybe have a, a little staircase going down from somewhere. Maybe either side that, so it's kind of symmetrical with that even. Could work. Going across, we could have a staircase going down from there. This going across here. Probably can't get through that bit, but don't mind. Let's have a look. A look what it looks like. Like that. Yep. Um, you can get around the back area there. Put some tiles on top of there do that for the other ones actually because uh, I didn't I wasn't really too keen on these but I think if we do the white and then the tile on top it's um, a bit different a bit more tidier I think same with this we could do it for this one as well like that tile Boom. do it for this Boom. yeah much more clean tidier um, so let's see for this one here. Could keep it plain. Could have this going up to here in the white. Let's fill it all in white plain for now. And then we can see what it looks like. And see if it needs anything. Because sometimes it might not even need anything. Yeah, like we could keep it like that. I kind of I'm feeling like just having these here. That's yeah, a bit more clean and tidy sort of look. Underneath here we could bring this slate across here and here. It kind of makes more sense. Um for the top here, 
we could put some flowers there, but I kind of don't want to do it too much like we've done there where it covers up everything. I want it to kind of work. Maybe get some odd flowers here and there. Yeah. That's looking good. And um, let's fill in all of this. So what is this actually? White concrete. Slash I set white concrete. We'll do it like that so we can see what's best um, to work with. I'm going to do exactly the same here so I'm just going to fill it in all white and then after I think it's just better to plan things out just so I can see what it looks like and then I'd be like oh this added here look good this added here um, I'm going to do it for the whole of the front here and then we can just work with it and see what it works so you might be removing some blocks but kind of it's the best way I feel would work. I'm going to do it all the way across here, just fill that all in white concrete like that and then we can use it um, to build something. So here I kind of feel like because we've got that there we could have some really long kind of strips so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Up to there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, an end there. Do you know what I mean? So where we've got this black point here, it should come down, and then I kind of want this going across like that. And then add some of these to this point. Add these flowers in. And then just some of these at the top, keeping it nice. Plain, clean, nice. I might. No, that's not right. That. Um. Even underneath here, I think would work really well actually with the tiled. So it's still clean and tidy, but still adding detail with it, but it's not messy. Um, no, I don't need it for that one because that's where it ends. In fact, yeah. There we go. So that's going across there. Outside balcony here. Can do that for here ends there and um, hmm maybe I don't know if it'd work though adding here and there though I think we could add some spruce Like here, sort of thing. I might have to add it all over the build just so it kind of makes sense, but I'm just gonna for now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it just until it reaches the top in here. Might as well go all the way through. like it but I don't like it at the same time do you know what I mean it's one of them let's do it to here and then we can add the bush just a big bush going to it you can mess around with what you want here but I'm uh, I don't want it all windows because I kind of want it to um yeah just have some walls that you could probably use inside so it's not 
that you can have like stuff stacked against everything something like that yeah we'll definitely do some more stuff out here because I just think it'll make it a bit more interesting rather than it just a flat block like some more gardens coming around there would be more interesting um, I'm going to take a, a quick rest with this one so I can come back with a fresh mind and um, yeah, we can go from there. But so far, so good, I think. Um, maybe get a chimney coming from there or something. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, I shall come back. Okay, so for the next part here, I've decided I'm going to bring this across some, maybe three. And um, have it going across there. Bring it out to this point, and then one, two, three, four. Bring it round. And then at this point here, by three, four. Bring it round here. And kind of like locked into this bit here so it's just not all stone um, gonna get it and fill it in to there even um, white oh. <laughs> slash slash set white it's slash slash even slash slash set white concrete I need to get rid of all this let's get rid of all this for now okay I'll do the same for this I'll get rid of this as well because it's gonna get in the way now we've done all the counting for that it doesn't really matter get over here here slash set white concrete same for this fill all this in and this here to this point and then could we put some grass here where we could get out at this point fill this with grass all the way through here as well yeah slash slash set Gra grass block yeah I'm gonna do it round to here as well There we go. Boom. Right, so there. Put one there as well. There. On this corner here. And put the tiles on. And then we can put the glass as well. We can have little bits where we can get out. Just make it a little bit better. There and there. And then we got our glass and fill in the glass and we could just have some little uh, garden rows there and stuff add some plants in there and make it look a little bit more interesting as well and here might even take that out so we can just hmm yeah why not put it to here there we go a little bit more interesting and then for this bit here we'll bring it round and maybe end it here get rid of that and just slide it in there and then get some grass for this bit it's got levels to this there's levels to this brother right. yeah very very nice I like it and 
I wonder if it's worth putting some stairs coming down from here maybe mm. or here even down to that point yeah that'll do and then of course we'll do the stair coming down from here fill that in there like that we could even do this as glass as well and then put one there one there put some glass for this do we put another stair coming down from here maybe so it's another way in maybe we can do that Probably be better without that there, but there we go. So yeah, gonna go with that and um, maybe across here. Just in this little bit here, we'll have that there. Could do it for each one actually. Stop where we get to the stairs. that the levels to those gardens looking good and then maybe round here as well we'll probably bring it together let me just have a little look back yeah I'll bring it all the way around This is a long, long tutorial, this one, so uh, if you don't usually slap a like on the video, um, get it done, rubber. It really does help me out as well. Uh, I might have a... Should we do it to there? Just kind of feel like... Um, just a two for that one. Okay, very nice. Um, should we... I kind of feel like we need some white just going around here. So if we kind of go like this, and then we can have bush on that one. Like this, going all the way around. Just covering where we've got stone. And then put another layer of bush. not completely stone that still looks good hopefully I need to step back though yeah um stone let me try this <coughs> hmm like this to make it look a little bit more interesting yeah that's all right that looks good as well same with this as well I think it would kind of benefit from making it look like this is part of the house also you could actually just make it part of the house as well which would be good I don't know if it's completely level so I'm gonna do it like this Five at that side, and then five at this side. Maybe we could bring this out. Have some grass in for this one. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Why not? around here or something and 
around here. Just kind of giving it a few different levels. Might have that going up to there, maybe. And then just end it there. And put one of these on. Bring it down a bit more, just like that. And, um, yeah, let's work on some of this. So I'm going to fill in all of this, which is... So let's, for now, let's fill in all of it up to here. Because this is going to have walkways and other stuff. And then fill it in all of this as well. Um, do we need to fill it in across there though? That is the thing. Now we'll leave that one. Um, fill in these points here. What we did with the other one down here. Where we put the glass there. I'm going to put the glass for these points here. And here. Might do it for the long one as well. But we're going to have to maybe do it to there. Let's fill this in. And we can have like up different size buildings I think would make it look more interesting from here. From this point. Um, let's try. I kind of feel like we should have a some kind of stairway coming from here though. So you get onto here and then there's a stairway coming up here somehow. I don't know if it'll make sense, but let's try it. Let's do a three there. And then four maybe, and then one there. And then we'll see if it works. I might have to bring it back actually because I don't want to interrupt him with that. So if we do it here and then we could expand this a little bit, yeah. So let's expand this from this point here. And then would that actually no we can leave that overhanging like that. Let's put more of this stuff here. Like that. Let's get rid of that one. Then we can go from here. Put it there. And then it shouldn't interrupt that other staircase. And it should reach the top alright. Might even go past it, I'm not too sure. It's looking good. It's looking good. There we go. And then that to there. We can have this coming up. Joining onto there. Let's put one on the other side as well. So this is coming up. Joining onto that. Like this. And we could even do it for these. So that's going over. And that's coming up. Like that. Got that staircase there. And uh, yeah, do we put one across there? Who knows? Because I certainly don't have a clue what I'm doing. Uh, let's go to there and let's put these tiles on. And then we can use the glass and put these across. Okay, and then let's fill in all of this now. Let's fill in the concrete here to here. And underneath here as well. Might as well fill all this. This is going to be all flooring, so we can fill in all that as well. And then all the way across here, 
fill in all this floor. And this floor as well, we could do this. with the balcony that we've got there. Okay. Like that. And um, kind of think this last one here. Fill this up. And this one here. Like that. And then for this, let's do some doorways where you can get into it here maybe we could do some windows at the top there but just kind of keep them as little slate windows and then here we can even do that as well And then what they called compositors or whatever, they, like that, and some bush, any bush of your choosing. One, two, put them up three, get some nice high ones. Like that. Okay, that's looking good. And I uh, kind of feel like we should have a rail in here at least. Rail across here, rail across here. Might as well fill this back bit in. We can take out that stair so it works. Maybe something like this. Going all the way across this bit. We could put some of the glass in there at the top and for this bit put floor there and um, might as well do the same railing but we can actually remove this and maybe let's see what it looks like from the outside actually let's do it like this Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks clean. It looks clean, main. And um, kind of want some kind of an overhang from these points. So we'll get an overhang coming around here. Um, do we want it around here, though? That is the question. Around where the stairs are. Yeah. And then another one here. Like that. And then we can put the slate, can't we, underneath it. Put the slate going round here. Around here. one yeah let's do it for this one as well around here and around to this bit here where we're blocking off a little bit of glass but it still looks cool we could even overhang that by two actually bring that across here overhang it by two and it's not completely blocking off the window because you can see it underneath like that. Like that. Let's add another one there, so it slots into there. Very nice. Very good. That could be our kind of like grand entrance. 
don't know what I should put for that though. Um, if we should have like a big circle kind of entrance, or we should bring it out and have like proper. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. something like this and just have this coming down here makes a scent point more interesting and um, let's see would it be worth having this go around here Let me just test this point before you guys start. Um, putting stuff on because I don't know if it'll work. Um, yeah, so now. Like that, but still kind of want this because I think we break these out. We can still use it. I kind of don't want to interrupt this roof too much so let's put an extra one either side here and then we can put a block on each one and then some glass or something Now for here, I kind of feel like we c what we could do is we can get this to here. And one more actually, like that. Do the same here. Two, one, two. Bring it back here. We put some grass more flower beds there okay and then um, hmm kind of um, not too sure if I should have like um, it's kind of a little roof coming off here so if we did just a little roof though just so it kind of looks more like an entrance uh, let's see we did it to here and then did it to here so that would be one two three four five and then have like a cobblestone roof just we have to fill that in there either side so a little cobblestone roof or maybe it might be worth doing slabs so it doesn't go up as high but I think this could work let's put a stair under for this Hopefully it's not too high where it goes into there. Should be alright though. There we go. Perfect. And 
then this can like go into here. It looks just a bit more like an entrance, I guess. And it's not completely symmetrical, so it kind of gives it a bit of a interesting look as well. I'm gonna grab some slab. that and then you can get out onto here you can get in through here just makes it a bit interesting and um, I don't know for here maybe we could have a slab like that and then maybe we could have that but just like the one window yeah I wonder if it's worth for these bits just oh there's some bats in there um, something like that how it steps down really like that get that to there that going to there and then this come into this point maybe It's just something, isn't it? Right. And then we could get the bush going round to here. Not covering up that bit. This here with this on. And then just as we're entering there, there. Get the slab on there with some of the glass. have that as grass yeah we can add some things around but it just uh, it gives it some different dimensions and stuff I'm gonna um, do this pull so for the pull I was gonna just do it one um, because obviously when you start doing everything else uh, making it too deep um, it's gonna take ages to fill in or what you can do is you fill in a ground floor and then just bust it all out after which I guess I could do but uh, yeah I might as well keep it like this because for demonstration purposes right. right I'll come back I'm gonna fill all this in just putting a pretty much a floor level on just so I can kind of like uh, fill in the water and then I'll fill in the water and when it's back you can see what it looks like and then we can go from there so yeah I'll be back. right so I've decided what I'm gonna do is to make it a little bit more interesting I'm gonna add some of these things um, some kind of pillars coming down let's see just in different places um, just to make it maybe when we've got these pillars here what we could do is um, if I place a spruce here a spruce where there's each one of these and then one going up here I just think it will add a little bit more detail to the build where it's not too exhaust heavy resource heavy even um, but it'll still look good let's add those and then just 
I think if we scatter these around the build, it'll make it interesting. I could be wrong though, but I'm going to try it out. I haven't experimented with it yet, but I think I'm going to go with it because I feel like instead of it just all being white. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Let's put it in here. It makes the roof a bit more interesting as well, I guess. Let's put it here. Like that. And then maybe one here. By this point. Let's have a look. Yep. Um, could we put any here, maybe? Maybe just the one here. Coming up through here. And then across here. Yeah. Then we can hang some lanterns from there as well. Lantern. I wonder if it's worth putting them on a chain just so it dangles a little bit further down. Let's see. There. Let's get back. Yeah, that's nice. And then we can put them from chains like every now and again kind of thing. Hang them from here. Maybe a chain here, like in between each one of these might be cool. And then that's our light source for lighting up the place a bit better. Instead of glowstone all around the place. And um, here we go. We'll see if it works. Should do. Yeah. Yes, it looks good. I like it. Um, I do want it for here as well. I think it would work well for um, here. Like there. Place that on there like that. And where we've got these pillars here, I think it'll work as well. I'm not too sure about um, underneath though, like going across like that yet. I'm going to do this for now, and then we need to put some windows behind here as well. But so far, I'm liking how it's coming across, considering I've pretty much got like um, loads of uh, different modern houses and builds and taking different aspects from it as kind of like a mood board or whatever <coughs> however you however you say it uh, and then I'm going like that I'm just taking little bits of designs from different places and, and using it as like inspiration to mold something let's see I wonder if it's worth putting the chains out from here at this point Maybe even a bit further down for these ones. Like that. And then, um, I don't know if this will work. Let's get like a sign around here. I don't think I'll be able to do it for the back one. Let me just see what it looks like. No. I kind of think it'd be better higher. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, something like that. Let me just take a look back just to see. I um, kind of think maybe we could have. Kind of don't like this on show like that. So I'm not going to do that. I kind of think it's better underneath it looks a bit more clean that way and then we'll see how it looks like this right and then just like that maybe yeah that's a bit better for that one just for that little area 
and um, I wonder if it's worth doing it I kind of feel like we need some border here of some form might not work so I'm just gonna kind of see what it looks like yeah I'm gonna go with that just to this point maybe Yeah, can bring that up a bit more, just for that bit. Let's keep looking back, keep it interesting. Right, so, underneath here, I'm gonna bring this across, like this, and then I'm gonna add some dirt blocks. This is what we can do for these windows. And then, yeah, I'm going to add some of the green this time, just a plain green Azilla Rilla thing. And then maybe do some big windows here. I think that might be worth doing. Like that. Maybe one gap in between each one. Yeah, so where we've got those windows at the top, we can kind of bring them down to do this. And end it there. Now for here, I think what might be all right is if we line it with these, maybe. And then just a slab across the top like that we can put the windows from on the inside yeah it's looking good so I like to change up the windows so they're not all completely the same and it does it just looks a bit different so it's not all the same everywhere you just have different interesting parts of the build um, there we go so behind here I guess you could just leave it like that but you can put some glass in as well um, could even put just for the thumbnail I would put glass behind here but for the thumbnail so it looks a bit darker I'm just going to put some black wool behind it um, I just think it'll pop a bit better let me just try um, right. black wool let me just take a look out yeah yeah, I just think for the thumbnail and stuff, I'm going to do this. Obviously, you put some windows in it, it'd probably work a little bit better for you guys. <laughs> but, um, for obviously advertising the build, I need to make it look kind of standout-ish. And um, let's see what else could make it potentially stand out. Maybe um, I wonder if the redstone block could be quite cool for it I'll try it out I have no idea but I'm gonna give it a go yeah that looks really nice it looks really nice as just like a window design full stop I'm actually do that for all the windows cuz yeah but so wherever I put these I would just put uh, glass and um, but I think I might use this because it's got that villa sort of feel to it and um, I can light them up as well. Probably won't light them up because um, I think it takes it takes away the look with shaders. But something like that is really nice. Um, I'm going to do it for all these. So you can put glass behind these, or you can have them as doors. 
and um, probably have one for doors really um, so like that let's do it for this I just want to see what it would look like for that um, I'll just speeding up the process um, slash I set red stone redstone block oh no it's redstone lamp isn't it <laughs> that's not good redstone lamp there we go oh the flash there Ew, not good right okay um redstone lamp come on come on i've got this world edit noob i've lit i've, I've got like uh, my drawing pad <laughs> in front of um is this going to make me lag out? Like, I've got my drawing pad in front of my keyboard um, because I've literally got no space left on my um, my what's it call it. But yeah, this looks good. It's good. I like those windows. Looks nice. Um, so I might as well just stick redstone lamps behind everything. But is it going to lag my game out and then ruin my footage? I'm not even going to jinx it because I'd. <laughs> I think I'll cry. But I kind of like this. It looks awesome. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Yes, man. I'll put them down here as well for these ones. Yeah, it's got like a just a proper villa vibe with those windows now oh yes yes people might not even believe it's vanilla texture pack which is not a good thing let's put it for these good man even for here as well <laughs> taking out the leaves here yeah so wherever I'm putting redstone lamp just put glass um, I'm kind of do, just doing it to advertise it a little bit better so people have got a good idea of what it'll kind of look like <sighs> but yes it's looking very good right um there's so much to do. <laughs> Such a long build, this one. Um, let's see. For here, we can have plain wall. But we can have one, two, three. One, two, three. Have some windows behind, behind here. Doing the same height and level as the other stuff. Let's see what it looks like. there yeah it looks good looks nice and um, kind of feel like I should get some bush just put it around this little area just like that okay get some big palm trees coming out of there that'll look cool as well and for this here I still got to figure out what I'm going to do at the back because I kind of did it like it was going to go into a mountain so um, I'm going to do some kind of buildings on top here let's fill this in to there and um, let's have where these are let's do it up four high two three four one, two, three, four. Oh no, there even. Like that. I'm going to use this slab. There's a slab going around here. So this is the top of the stairs. And then, yeah, I'm just going to do it. Like there's a little mini roof coming off it. 
and then um, I want to do the buildings on top like different sizes I think um, would work like different levels different heights it make it look a bit more interesting rather than just all the same height uh, there we go so let me just look back yep yeah. okay put this glass here so we don't fall through mm. okay so let's get some bush balcony I kind of want the flowered bush going around here so starting from let's fill that in um, I'm going to put a chimney coming out there so I'm going to leave that let's come around to here over the front of here out here maybe something like that might work or a little maybe even a little garden um wonder if that would work heck we'll try it we'll try it um, so we want at least a little walkway so one walkway going round bring it out to this point and then we can put a glass in here and then just our water sources oh no I'm throwing it away seeds bow meal and we'll see how it looks but yeah at least it's usable not that I doubt anybody's gonna do this in survival but you never know there is some crazy survival people out there that'll probably do this um, but yeah, so if you, you can't get anything, or it's too hard to get, just replace it with something that's probably a bit more usable if you're in survival, I'd suggest, I should have probably suggested that at the start really, but, oh no, I can feel the lag, I feel the lag, yeah, it's, honestly, it's like, this PC is really powerful, um, but for some reason, getting a lot of issues with it. I don't know if it's just Minecraft or if it's my PC or what but I know the world um, heights and stuff have changed but th this is on super flat so I don't I don't know why it would um, let's go like this out there maybe let's start and fill this so white concrete I'm gonna fill in all of it I don't know if you guys can see this but I'm really super lagging out at the moment it is not good like 
that. Kind of feel like we should keep that simple. But at the same time, we could probably get away with what we've done here, where it goes around there. So let's try doing it from here. Let's try this. Don't want it too much because it won't lock in at this side here. But we might as well fill that in now. And then down one more. I'm not really a fan of putting stairs <laughs> stairs down, they take ages, you need so much patience. And uh I don't know how people do this in survival like this. Oh no, oh no. I just repeat it. Oh no. I did get into the flow of it because I've been out of, out of the game for so long. It's frustrating, man. Come on, man. I don't know if I should bring this down one more, maybe. Or just have it like that. Um, I might just keep it like that. Yeah. Um, windows. Let's, what sort of window should we do for this one? Maybe the top one's there. We could have maybe a corner piece. Let's do a corner piece. So like that, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Should we go down one more? Should we do it? Let's live a little. And what did I do for that corner piece? Yeah, it was that, that wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So this is the deep slate tiled stuff. And just fill in up to here. And then just boom around like that. And then, of course, my redstone lamp. But you put your glass. There we go. I'm thinking, so long as I don't light this up with them, I should be all right. probably fill that in. So we've got that there. Maybe, maybe we could put some of these. Let's put it from here, here, here. There we go. Like that. And then underneath we can carry on this going all the way around then we can hang lanterns from it and then definitely need to start doing the back soon I want to keep it really plain but um, yeah because I kind of wanted it I did want it in a mountain um, but you know let's get around there So it locks into that. Hmm. Right. So we've got that bit there. Then let's fill in this. So it'd be up to this point. Let's get our handy world edit. So I'm going to fill it like this, and I can. You guys don't have to do it completely plain. You can kind of wait until I've um, sorted it. But should we have another kind of thing coming off it? I think that could work. But hmm, 
Let's see. Let's see. Just thinking, just thinking. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do some bigger windows from here. Go up to about that height. One space in between. So height wise, one, two, what one, two, three, four, five, six. worth doing them up one more and then we put our dirt on the bottom and then our trap doors and then our flower stuff wherever it's gone redstone lamps or glass and we can take a look back see if it looks any good I need to still have, need to hang those lanterns as well this coming through here there and there like that we can have another thing that we've done there one two 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 be enough I don't know oh, too much even one two three four I'll use the slab and just um, like we did over there will it be touching it didn't do I shall see right like that bring this oh no fill this in get these filled in okay and then this should be perfect to do our little um, things we did here I want to do those again. So we're keeping in with the theme a little bit. Right. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And wonder is it worth. Hmm. Land 
skeletons hanging off. These bits. Yeah, it's all right. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I kind of feel like. Just that, and then these, and then that could be just like that. Maybe some lanterns hanging off here, off these corners as well. Oh no, we can't actually. Um, I'd have to do this, which don't mind doing. Let's keep it plain because it's uh, just a bit too distracting I think right so fill that in and that and then I might just do it quite close for that one one two one two one two three one two one two uh -huh. if it's worth doing this just plain or if there should be any windows coming from that I don't think that will benefit uh, look better like that fill this in for now as well okay and then maybe just a little one two This would be here. Like that. And then just little. Those little things. Mm hmm. I wonder if it's even worth doing. Something a little bit different. I might actually get the uh, what we bought. Uh, black, deep slate, deep slate tiles. Yeah, I'm gonna have the deep slate tiles like this, just on this level. Then it's not all completely white. looks interesting as well. Do it on the inside as well. Okay. Let's have a look look back. Yeah. Could even do it for that bit, but nah kinda keep it like that. Oh my goodness me, I'm going to take another break I think, so I'll come back fresh and I know what the heck's going on. <laughs> I fill in this and yeah I'll come back because I can feel myself slowly drifting away. Um, let me just have a look around though, so far so good, I'm liking it, there's a lot of busy stuff going on. Right, let's get this done. Uh, let's start over here now. So, what I'm thinking is if I fill in here, like this, we could have our balcony maybe here. And I'm going to bring it across to this point. Probably about the same height as that maybe one higher actually bring it across and then we can go across here we want kind of like the same sort of balcony area so maybe a three gap so count one two three do it to here like that go up to the same height 
across. Same across here. Might as well get this going up into the ceiling there. And this across. Fill in the bottom. Okay. And um, let's see. Let's do this. Let's get the slab. Let's go around here. I'm going to fill in this point as well. Might as well fill in there. And then do it again. Going round. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm going to fill this to the top for now. Might just stay plain. We kind of want one, two, three. I think three. Yeah. One, two, three. Maybe five, actually. Like that. So yeah. Bring this round. Two more times. that or so it works I might bring it four. so type one two three and then on the fourth one one two three four and then from here, maybe one, two, three, four. Yeah, so something like that. Okay, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four all together. So like squares. Okay, and then from this point, I wonder if it's worth doing it a bit higher. Ah, uh, in fact, this should be all right. So we want one, two, three up. We're just going to square it off like this. This is more for decoration, really, than anything else. And then we'll get these tiles like we did before. And we're going to just do this pattern all the way around for each one of these. Um, I guess we don't need them in there so much. We're not really going to see them. And then here. And here. And here and here. Okay. And then we use some of this. We can bring this up to this point. Same within the middle here. Like that. And same with this here. Yeah. Kind of just bringing them across. Like that. And then we'll do the same for the roof. So these roofs should work okay. Interlocking into each other. And then one like that. just follow the pattern round that we've got here and then I can do another building at the side that's a bit different one two one two one two ah one two one two one two like that and then we can remove them from this side because this is where we can put some dirt blocks get some of this as well and put them across there do the same on the other side as well so like here and then we can get our trap doors and fill them in here 
Okay. Right. Um, and maybe we could just put some lanterns on these sides here. Can maybe get some smaller flowers that might work a little bit better. Just get some red. If you'll let me get them. And then this other side here. Like that. Um, in fact, the lanterns could be hanging from here. Um, but that's not going to work, is it, there? Okay, that'll be alright. Okay, now. Let's have two window there and a two window this side. I'm actually close it there. Do the same on both sides. A two window here. And this could be kind of like open this up. Apart from the two that we did there. Same with this. Do a two and the one there. Open this up. Just for now, I'm going to get the deep slate, the tiled, and I wonder if it's worth just doing the slab for that bit, just uh, across the top there. This one, yeah, that looks all right. Just for the tops, and there, and then get some of this. Has some trapdoors. Same for this one. Okay. Across. I'll do the same at this side as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that across there. That across there. And fill in that and that. Let's have a little look back. Okay. Feel like what we should do is this to here one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can just put the glass in there. Um, I'm going to put it behind. This one, and the same for this one, and I might, if it's worth doing like that, or maybe deep slate, that's a double, yeah, we'll go with that. I'm going to double it up on the inside. Like that. And where we've got the dirt coming through, I'd fill that across there. The so same with this one as well. Get the deep slate going through. And same here. Double it up. roof tiles and put them across here and here I didn't do it for this one oh no right let me take a look if it looks any good 
Okay, good, 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 good. Really good. I'm going to actually use some glass doors for here. And then we could put some of the spruce. I wonder if the chain would work, actually. Chain and try this as well. But I think the chain would look quite good in there. Yeah. Three, one, two, three. Out by two. Put some chains. And put some lanterns. Maybe. Maybe. Just on the floor here. Now I'm going to divide this room um, because I just kind of want this blocked off a little bit because um, obviously on the thumbnail I wouldn't do this um, on yours but just want it blocked off a little bit just so yeah might do it in the black. Even do that again. There we go. It look good, yeah. Okay. So we've got that there, that there, that there. So we've got that roof on there. Hmm. Kind of feel like we could do an even bigger thing off here, but. Hmm. I might leave the back completely plain. Do you know what I mean? Because if it is going into a mountain, I'll express it at the front so people will know, I guess. But you can always copy the kind of details that you've got on the front and just put them on the back. Um, slash I set white. White concrete. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of do it like this. So imagine this is in a mountain. So yeah, you're not really going to be using any of this. So I'm going to go from here all the way across to here. There we go. So this would all be kind of blocked off, but you kind of get the idea. But if I show that at the start, then nobody should have a problem, hopefully. But there will be somebody. There'll be someone. Um, like there. And there. Okay. And probably this would be into the side of the mountain as well, really. It's got a lot of usable space <coughs> on the inside. Okay. Um, definitely be, that won't be in the mountain. <coughs> so I'll leave that. But imagine that chunk's kind of in the mountain, so it's still usable space. But you've kind of got this up by here and you've got like this tops I'll definitely need to do something here but not so much on this so you could probably scrape that roof off there I'm gonna fill this in for now and then we can start to pattern it okay get away with some just nice something like this so one two one two let's go from this side one two so leaving the two gap from there and then maybe a, a three in the middle bring it down to the same level as what we've got those at. so one off the bottom Like 
that. Um, yeah, in fact, two off the bottom because we'll have this bit here. Okay. Or did we have it further down? Yeah, we have it further down. Like that. And we put those on. And then, of course, our trapdoors. Okay, and some slate, and at the top, and then I'm going to fill in the glass. And uh, yeah, it's looking good so far, it's coming together, it's coming together. Okay, just get out of here. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. That's looking nice. I kind of like it. Might have it plain. Just one, two, one, two, three, maybe, and then lower that one at the far end. So at the far end of that one, far end of that one. Bring them up one more, eh? Like that. I kind of like it just like that. It's nice. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave it like that. I should have probably done it all that simple, really. Um, but I did want to put some detail in. Uh, let's break through. Yeah, look at that. That looks really nice down that side. Really, really nice. And so, I might just keep it simple for the rest of it, like with this stuff as well. I think it would really work. And there we go. White concrete. Fill it all in, and then we can see where's the best places to take a mouse. I might do a massive window here, just going all the way through and ending where that window ends. I think that could work well. I have to bring that one up a bit more. That there. That there. see what it looks like, see if it's any good. Yeah, I like it like that. It's nice. It is good. I approve. Right, let's take a little look back. Very nice, very nice. Very well put together. I kind of, um, I feel like it would be a lot better if we made this a bit more like the others. Yeah. And not too keen on this, it's too much detail. Um, I'm kind of wanting to detail but simplistic in some areas which will make it pop. No, wait, there we go. Yeah, way better, way better, way better. Right, okay. So keeping all those details there, those are nice. Um, yeah. That's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, I'm going to keep the same simple details on this side as well, so... Because it's just working really well, I like it. Fill all that in for now, and fill all this in down here. And then we can go from there, see what works. So... Let's see, let's start the windows where the tops of these ones are at least. One, two. Uh, 
let's have two spaces in between. Number two spaces, number two spaces. down a bit more and have these here and then slab at the top here I want to um, have go one from the end one and bring it across get some spruce trap doors and then you use this flower stuff go that's nice something different as well and we pull these up and then we can work on the bottom and the sides and the roof bit on the top we need something another outbuilding or something on the top let's have a look yep yeah. Right, so down here, maybe we could match these windows here. So go with that sort of vibe. And yeah. Right, so let's look from the inside. How high did we go? Doing the same height. I'm just going to do them. Across. Don't have to do this many, but I feel like we need to let some light in this place. There we go. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get some redstone lamp for these bits. See what it looks like. Yep. Sure does look good. Awesome. 
Let's see, let's get the trap doors. some lanterns here put some lanterns up here so I'm gonna trail this across and bring them down here we've got a window let's just put a lantern above it Definitely gonna have some kind of a doorway here though. That's gonna be a doorway, so it's gonna be kind of a level going across there. That be our kind of floor level. And um, let's go like this and then get some of the deep slate. Okay, and then maybe one, two windows here, or here even, three windows, and um, something like that. Could do the big stretch window, maybe one, two, and uh, one, two there. Just end them where that window is. Like that. And then these going across the top and bottom. Let's get our dirt block actually. Might as well bring that up one more. Then we get the slate. And of course, I'm going to put this behind it. Windows 
something like that. Maybe have this instead of the slate. And then some bush. Okay, very nice. Cool, good, very good. Okay, now I feel like we should have something interesting here. So, let's do that. So, let's start from here. Let's start from here. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Let's start from here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And go and start where that one is. And we're going to bring it across. Hmm, let's do. One, so we count this as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty three. Square this off. Bring it down. across here first and have this like that put that going across there and just keep stacking them on like that you reach the top and then we might have to make this one bigger or one taller even just uh, so the roof comes off it a bit better and bring these across to here and we can go from there see if it needs to go a little bit higher which I think it might do Right, 
so we grab this now this is going to go across here and uh, yeah we're just going to do what we did before where we're going to fill in the roof it might take a while to do this so i might do this off camera just to speed the process up a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. Right. And then, yeah, just keep folding it round until we reach the top like we did with those roofs. So I will come back once that is done. What I'm going to do here, actually, bring that up by two. I'm going to get some anvils or something or maybe some wall of the deep slate have this kind of like a little chimney area I don't know if it's worth doing too high yeah and then might go three down even like that and uh, I wonder if it's worth putting some cobble around here and then having a furnace at the bottom here if it'll let me there we go okay Cool. So yeah, I'm going to come back once that roof is done and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Um, but I think I'm just going to go like this. Just uh, That's going to be all in the mountains anyway. So I'm just going to just to tidy it up a little bit, make it a little bit prettier. Put it across like this. Yeah. See what I've done there, I've just done it on the opposite side, so you can kind of do that, but you get the idea. So yeah, I'm going to come back once I've done that. Okay, so I've made a few changes as well. Um, I just turned this little chimney area into stone. You can keep it as white. Um, just some chimneys here, just some three chimneys. You can put the chimneys coming off however you like. And I put three chimneys on this roof as well. It's just like a little block placing out there. So you can just take a look and probably replicate that. But I just think it um, makes the build look a little bit interesting. And that's it really. Um, nothing too major. I'm going to do this now. Bring it up to here. And let's get that like that. Let's do this. And then let's fill in this bit actually down the side. That's not necessary. I'm gonna keep it simple like I have with these, or like I have with this one over here actually, um, because it's just super simple but it works really well. And I think that'd be ideal for the top, like that. And then, of course, we'll get our we got dirt block. And um, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. I one, two. Might even do them on the ground actually. Just so we'll show. Like that. Yep, and then fill this in. And it should look alright. Like that, yeah. And then I'll get my, obviously, my things behind it. So you can fill in your glass. And then we've got to somehow connect that one to that one. Maybe just a little outhouse that kind of runs through it. I think that would be good. And then just do a little bit of work on the back. And uh, we're pretty much done, really. Considering. Um, let me get that going. There. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have this going across here. 
and just completely filled in like that then obviously on the inside we can fill it with the roof slate we're gonna have black tile coming across here just filling in these areas and keep taking a look back just to see if it's looking okay Let's see if it looks good maybe we could get away some lanterns hanging from these ceilings at least um, and then we can add bushes all sorts of things that will bring everything together right on the corner there just maybe in between each gap like that that looks nice everyone on here and we can replicate what we did back there so really we can do a two window here even though it's not necessarily if, if we're in the mountain but we'll do some of it and that turns into a one and then we could just turn this into more basic stuff so bring it up to where it's level with that point and then we could do it level with that point there and then instead we just turn it into a double window at the back here get some of that slab and uh, bada bing bada boom like that and then uh, bring it up one more add our dirt block Add this flower thing, whatever it's called. Still can't pronounce it. I struggle with a few words actually, like an anemone. Oh, I got it that time, I guess. Right, oh, it's glitching out there, bad. I suppose this is why I'm kind of reluctant to do the back as well. Well, not reluctant. I kind of like I had it in my head that I'd do the mountain but still I know that um, I just don't want to risk it at this stage with um, imagine building all this and then all the footage is gone or not working I would be um, distraught I probably, I probably quit I think that's why I quit before um, I did a huge house and then it kind of like just went to shambles and uh, I was like right I've had enough Right, let's go there and let's do the same here for this one. Let's put it down there. In fact, no. It's not the right one. Right there and there. So we want this kind of like as a little walkway. Now, what are you doing? Right. I kind of want it like just like this. There's little pillars to get into it. <laughs> I'm not having much luck here. What is going on? I think um, I need to bring this out a bit more because, uh, yeah, there we go. I don't, either that or I'm just glitching like really badly. Um, yeah so I want to get some bush across here I think just across this area here just have it as like a bush roof I think will work let's destroy that and at least it'll look nice I don't know if it's I'm lagging out or I'm just getting really tired and trying to finish it <laughs> trying to finish it real fast. Um yes, yeah, so we'll do that and then underneath these little bits we'll do that. Looks quite nice. Good way to get in as well. Plenty of space to move around. Let's look back. Yeah, it's a nice little area there. And then at the back here we'll keep it nice and simple. Like 
that. And uh, yeah. Something like that. A little doorway there. Maybe we could do two little windows here. That would work. And with these tiles. some of these I guess I forgot to do them let's get them done and um, yes yeah, so okay everything I need there I'm gonna put them out here get the main thing of the building done and I can kind of look at little bits to make it interesting like that and then I don't know why I'm gonna put some stone there but why not okay and then um, I kind of feel like that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think you can go too overboard sometimes. Um, let's get some of the moss carpet because I think upstairs um, you can make it look like it's got some greenery. Let's have a two gap. We've got a kind of two gap walkway all the way around it. I don't know how to make the moss carpet, but you can use proper grass if you want, I guess. And then just cover it up underneath. I think something like this would be alright. Like that. And then we could have little seating areas I don't know what we could do for the seats just maybe keep it really simple just every two like that just make it interesting outside I guess seating area there could just have a random block here and then we could put um, a fence there and then a bush a flowered bush like that could even do little bushes like that um, underneath this little area here if I can actually get in <clears throat> like where we've got the bush as well you can have it like where it's kind of falling down so it's falling down in places up in places making it look busy and we've got those there have some little
the whole night just just make it look a little bit more interesting here and there and uh, yeah so it's not completely bare but you get the idea So we've got maybe some kind of like little palm tree thing here. Now I don't know how or how I'm gonna do it, but um, give it a go. Let's see what sort of palm tree. Hmm. Uh, would a palm tree be maybe in the jungle? We need some jungle leaf as well. Um, birch, spruce, jungle leaves. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Right, was that four and then one, two? One, two. And then just, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, Let's start with the one up like that, which I have here. Okay. So. <laughs> buy out by two. Like that. So do a little cross. One, two, one, two. I'm sure you can. One, two, one, two. I'm sure you can figure out different ways to do this a bit better than what I'm doing. I'm just kind of get just doing a little random one, um, just to bring the build together, make it look a little bit better. We got some nice tropical sounds. I, I downloaded like a tropical sound pack thing. I thought, yeah, I'll do that. I'm mean, two down. Do it underneath actually. There's one underneath. Get like put some down in some areas a bit more and then just maybe something like this. Stagger them around there, maybe one on top. Yeah, something like that. You kind of get the idea. And then you can put a bit, a bit of a better base than that. Um, use a bone meal or something. Bone meal. in some areas probably be well kept this sort of stuff but you know sometimes it's overgrown I guess right I'm gonna grow this at least around here oh yeah down here maybe it's Hmm. I wonder if it's worth doing like um, what they got just get, get some red wool and white wool one of those little oh no what am I doing it's uh, one of them I wonder if you can put like carpet on water. I don't think that's possible, is it? 
It's one of those little dingy things. In there. Um, I suppose you can just put white wool like that. You wouldn't have a lily pad in a pool, but... Oh well, I'm going to put some bamboo actually. Bamboo might be quite a good shout. Maybe going down in some places, I guess. Get some vines going down the house. can we put outside like that'll make it I don't know just interesting I guess some more chains um, it's coming up Halloween so oh, <laughs> I keep throwing it out of my hand for some reason it's Halloween so they're prepared and then um, let's get this get some path going wonder where else I can put some chains pots I just really like these ones. These are really cool in pots. Can just have some going down here. It's in random places, really. Because why not? Make it look busy as well. planting stuff. And then uh, what can we do for a flooring out here? Could we do like, we could probably use that moss stuff. Just random patches of grass here and there. Just because. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't even know why, but I don't. There we go. It's just not completely empty then, at least. Why do you have to be there? I wish you never came into my compound. 
because you're staying forever. And um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day with that, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's pretty extravagant. I do enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, hopefully you got something from this video and um, you enjoyed it also enough to slap a like on the video. Um, I'm going to leave a lot of this open plan and stuff because I think it's quite nice like that. So yeah. Like stuff like this, you could add some. Where have we got these? Yes. Some of these in here. Just to divide it up a bit. But yeah, I hope you got something from this video. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring. Hopefully it was uh, insightful at the very least. And hopefully you don't hate me for not doing the complete back. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna maybe add some lanterns, call it a day. Um, it's a long video. I'm not even sure how long this is taken. But I've done this all in one day, so I thought I'd get it out. I'm trying to do a lot more longer videos for you guys. Um, hopefully you appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, almost addicted, signing out. Still got the girl skin on, I don't know why. See you later, peace.